Hey, this is Kimberly with Red Tulip Designs, and we are in shop today, and I wanted to kind of talk to you all about doors that were painted incorrectly. So, as you can see here, we have stripped this door back, and currently we are taking a razor, like Jeremy's doing over there, and we are having to pick all of the paint out of all of these grooves. Um... And the reason I wanted to show you this is this is one of the main reasons why we don't strip kitchens anymore. Um, it's very time consuming and labor intensive because not only are we having to get it off the flats here, which isn't really a problem. That took us maybe 10 minutes a door. It's the hours of just getting all of this paint out of all of these grooves and off of all these details on the edges here. And yeah, I mean, we could leave it in there, um, but with our coating, it's gonna tighten up and it's gonna cause it to pull and fail. And you're gonna have a coating failure quickly. Um, this laundry room was done with bare wall paint. And unfortunately, it was gummed up and gloopy. It was already starting to fail uh, because wall paint is not cabinet paint. You're constantly touching your cabinets all the time especially around the knobs and pulls, and it ends up deteriorating the paint over time. Um, and especially in a laundry room, you get soaps and things like that that hit the cabinets, and if you don't have a quality paint on there, then it's going to end up causing failure. So we took on this project to strip it because it was only four doors and two drawers and then a couple of boxes, so it won't take us that long, but let's just say on average it's taking us an hour to two hours per door to get them completely stripped plus letting the doors dry because we're having to use acetone and lacquer thinner to get into all these details so we're spending basically a day's worth of labor getting these four doors and two drawer faces stripped now imagine how long it would take for an entire kitchen so uh, labor wise not worth it that's when we point you to new doors and drawer faces and then for an entire kitchen on average it takes us about two two and a half days to completely strip it and dry it out so I wanted to kind of show you what we're doing and why we don't like stripping doors and just kind of show you what we're dealing with today if you have any questions let us know